In a short amount of time, a Zach lift fifth wheeler will be mounted and ready for the road. Working on a level surface is important for a proper installation. The Zach lift requires placement of 4 inches from the rear differential housing to achieve optimal carrying ability. Removal of the rear cross member may be necessary to move the Zach lift into this position. A new cross member is provided. If cross member removal is necessary, begin by removing all bolts and brackets, retaining them for later use. Wiring and or airline attachments to the cross member will need to be relocated. Clamp and transfer punch the hole locations onto the provided cross member plate with the tabs facing forward. Loosely fit the provided cross member using the old nuts and bolts. Fit the cross member into the tabs and bolt loosely. After properly positioning the cross member, tighten all nuts and bolts. Reattach any necessary wiring or air lines. Release the locks on the fifth wheel plate. Before lowering the beam onto the truck, raise the kingpin so the beam sits level. Lower the beam onto the truck and lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel plate. Place a level behind the main pivot pin that secures the Zach lift to the fifth wheeler beam. Place a degreeing wheel on the level. Get seven degrees. Measure the distance from the back of the level to the rear differential housing. Now slide your fifth wheel plate till that gap closes to four inches. Alter the fifth wheel tabs if necessary. Shave the extruding tabs to clear any obstacles such as shock towers for ease of drive on, drive off procedures. After all fittings are complete, replace the fifth wheeler onto the truck and position it properly. Slide the strut pin into the fifth wheel beam. Hang the strut arm. Insert the strut. This will determine the location of your frame tab. 
Remove nuts and bolts from truck frame at this location. The frame tab is two feet long, but can be trimmed to one foot. Use clamps and transfer punch to locate the holes onto the frame tab. Use 3 5 8 inch grade 8 coarse thread hex bolts to bolt the frame tab to the truck frame. Use the front location of your frame tab, giving your strut a slight angle. Now that we have tension on this, we position this hole, put our pin through it, pin it through the back, and then we'll place our jam nut on it. Take up all your tension here first. And this here you just get to where it's hand tight. And you will want to put this all together before you hang your unit off the back of your truck. And these knobs are knurled so you can get a good grip on them, but hand tight is good enough. Install the cylinder bushings into the cylinder mounts. Use tape to secure the bushings into place while installing the cylinder. Place the cylinder so the return line is down and on the right hand side. Place the tilt cylinder pin through the beam and cylinder, secure with cotter pins on both sides. Remove the main pivot pin from the fifth wheeler beam. Hoist the Zack lift into position. Use the pivot pin to secure the Zack lift to the fifth wheel beam. Use the supplied bolts to secure the pivot pin to the fifth wheel beam.
Connect the tilt cylinder to the Zach lift using the supplied pin. Use a 2x4 or other appropriate lever to lift the cylinder in place. Secure the pin with the supplied snap rings. Plumbing the unit is pretty simple and straightforward. Hoses and ports are labeled to help you. Connect the number 6 hydraulic hose to the return outlet. The external return tube indicates the return side. The tilt cylinder is also labeled with an R above the connection. The number 4 pressure line goes to the opposite connection. Tighten your fittings, make sure not to over tighten. At the top of the Zach lift, connect the factory installed number 8 hose to the return side. Connect the number 2 hose to the pressure side. Do not cross these hoses. Connect the supplied hoses to the underside of the fifth wheeler beam. Connect the number 3 and 7 hoses to the bottom of the Zach lift. The straight connectors go to the fifth wheeler, while the 90 degree connectors go to the Zach lift. Connect the glad hands to the front of the fifth wheeler. Then connect the hydraulic quick connects. Start the truck and engage the PTO or power supply. Cycle the Zach lift through its full range of motion to work out any air in the hydraulic lines. Last, inspect all your hydraulic lines to make sure that they have been properly tightened and you have no leaks.